Good morning, professor. Good morning, fellow students. Today we are going to talk about our presentation, uh, our project on neural network language model. So my name is Bing, and my teammates is Yingri sitting there. So language model assigns probabilities to a sequence of words following probability distributions. The recent development of the neural network language model outperforms the classical n-gram models by learning long-term word relations and providing better generalizations to those unseen data. So in this project, our objective is to develop and evaluate recurrent neural network language model. And on top of that, we would like to add context features into this RNN language model to see, to evaluate the feasibility of using a context-dependent language model. So there are two data sets that we used in the experiment. The first one is the pantry bank, uh, pantry bank pouches of the Wall Street Journal data set. So this is the standard data set that is commonly used by researchers for language model evaluations. And a smaller data set that we used is called the track question data set. This data set is used to evaluate our context-enabled neural network language model. So this is a small data set. As you can see from the, uh, from the bottom, uh, we can see a, a few examples of the sample in the data set. So each sample consists of a sentence, which is a question, and the corresponding sentence type, which is inferring what this question is asking about, whether it is asking about a location or a person or an entity. So these sentence classes was used, these sentence classes information was used as the context feature in our language model. Quickly, the experiment part. So in this graph, this is the unfolded vanilla recurrent neural network language model to better illustrate how the sequence learning process is going. Uh, in, this is a recurrent neural network RNN language model that without a context feature. So the training was performed with the standard back propagation through time. And as we can see from the table on the right-hand side, this is the experiment result on the pantry bank corpus. The first two rows shows the perplexity, the perplexity of the language model, perplexity of the language model that built with the n-gram progress, n-gram model that using connection smoothing with back off and interpolation. And the row, the third row and the and fourth row shows the experiment result with the RNN language model. The third row that we are using the very popular RNN language model toolkit shared by Thomas Mikulov, and the last row is our own implementation of the RNN language model. So as we can see from the result, the RNN language model outperforms the n-gram model by large margin in this standard data set. And also from the last two lines, we can see our RNN model has very close to performance with the, the so-called near state of the art RNN language model toolkit. <laughs> so from here, we can see our implementation has reasonably good performance in language modeling. So next, we introduced context feature in. So this is the context feature. As what we mentioned just now, the context feature encodes the probability distributions of the sentence among all these sentence categories. So this is what we refer to as the context feature. In this experiment, we explore a number of different RNN structures in incorporating this context feature. And the one shown here is the one that gave us the best result. Again, the table on the right-hand side shows the experimental result on the smaller track question data set. The one additional row in this table on the bottom is the perplexity of the RNN language model with the context feature. So again, as we can see from this table, RNN language model beats n-gram model, but with a very small, large, small margin in, for the, in this data set. And from the Result on the, uh, uh, on the last two rows, we can see the context feature helps improve the perplexity, but not very significantly in this experiment. So we did some analysis on the reason behind. So one possible reason is in this data set, this is a small data set, and some of the highly representative words, such as a place, a person name, and, and the time, these information, these words were marked as unknown marker during the pre data pre presentation stage, because this word only appeared once in the corpus. And we did see some improvement on those sentences with some highly representative word by adding the context feature. 
So this is our experiment result. Last but not least, in the conclusion, in this project, we did evaluate the recurrent neural network language model compared to the n-gram model. And by introducing context feature in, we further improved the R language model performance, but with very limited margin in this small data set. So in the future, we would like to evaluate the context model on a larger data set, and we also want to explore the different type of context. That's it, our presentation.